up? My name is Karina Pittman and welcome to my channel. So here we discuss all things selling online and ultimately going after your dreams. So today we are going to talk about Inventory Lab. And before we get started, I do want to let you know I do have a free beginner guide down below which will give you a wholesaler to get engaged in. Okay, so this is Inventory Lab. This is essentially where I prep all my shipments. So put it in and it connects to Amazon and then also just preparing to ship everything out. Accounting things on it, reports to keep track of your inventory, where you spend the most money at. So when you press dashboard, this is gonna show you your monthly income to your profit ratio. It will vary on the side, there's gonna be a big circle that is gonna show you your cost of goods sold, the selling fees, the transaction fees, the inventory, inbound, service fees, and then other expenses. So that, it will tell you the big difference there. And then if you go to research, this is where you could do your research on your products. So for example, in a previous video, I talked about this dandy blend that I'm obsessed with. Hopefully we could type in the barcode right here and I'll show you. And there it is, dandy blend. So as you can see, the rank on this bad boy is 533. That guy is selling free product if anybody knows where this is. Where to buy this, see here. So this is what you could see when you're doing the research. So this is where I do a lot of my own research and especially when I'm doing like my repricing comparisons. So you could see here at the bottom, it'll say profitability. So tax referral fee, $1.02, fulfillment fee, $4.52, estimated shipping, 25 cents, monthly storage fee, about five cents, which is $5.84. And so then it looks like it sells, the buy, the buy box is currently at $12.69. So after the fees are added, you can see down here, it leaves you with about $6.85 in profit. So the real question now is how much does this cost to buy? I don't know, I never looked into it. I just bought it for myself. So what you could do from here, of course, if you want to just resource, reverse source it, who knows, you might find a wholesaler. Look, somebody else is selling it for 16, 17, 16. If anybody wants to hop on this product, you're welcome. There's only five people on it too. So it'll show you your net profit and your expenses. So for example, if we kept it at the buy box of 12.69, okay, so then if you want to estimate this and say this is $3 and I don't know, 45 cents, so then it's gonna show you your ROI is 98.55 and your profit is $3.40. Of course, that will fluctuate it with your repricer, but that is essentially the research section. And then it also has the other tools here um, that you can use, but I really only use Amazon and then Keepa. And then it, here, this orange section is fulfilled by merchant sellers and this green section is fulfilled by Amazon sellers and then the middle is used which used you'll probably see most when you are sourcing books and then you could press history and it'll just show you everything you've looked up and then you have list in prep so this is where you prep everything to leave your house or your warehouse wherever you do it so and then you press new batch and then you'll name the batch and then you can add your active buy list if anything you have saved and then you have individual products FBA your workflow, etc. And then you have your batches here. So obviously I'm shipping something out today. And then you can create a new batch and then we'll just say create. And then what you could see here is if we put the same ASIN in. So if we put it in here, we wanna select this. And then right here, it's going to tell me where did I, or how many do I have in stock or that I wanna sell? What's the price I'm selling it at? So if we said it was 345, let's estimate that it's 345 to buy this thing. We purchased it, same, February 27th, and we did not buy it from Nike. We're just gonna say, and then you would put the expiration date down here. Depends, obviously. And then you have your shipping rate, and then you can, again, see over here, you'd select the price you wanna sell it at and then put that and then you'd press add to batch and then it'll go on to the next thing. So that is that. And then you can go to close batches and see everything that you have sent out. And then supplier profitability. I love this part of inventory lab because it is super fascinating when, especially when you source a lot, especially from different stores, you could see who's the most profitable. That is really inventory lab in a nutshell. And that's why I like it super well. It has everything in one spot and it's everything's connected and easy to flow. But that is really it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you have any questions 
about Inventory Lab or anything in general. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.